Hello beautiful world. For those of you who don't know me, my name is John and I'm the founder of Share Tanzania. Today is New Year's Day, so I should also wish you all a happy new year and a blessed 2022 ahead. But today is also the birthday of Share Tanzania, so I have kept this day to make this announcement. Nine years ago today, I posted the first child on Facebook asking if anyone would like to help her name was Esther with school fees. I had no idea <laughs> where that post would take me at the time, but here we are. Thousands of children have been helped. We have built Feathers Tail Children's Village, which is a community specifically designed to support and provide a loving home for children living in crisis, the majority of which have special needs. As that journey went on, I realized that Feathers Tail would not be able to serve the whole of Tanzania, but there were more children struggling in the country. And so I had a vision and I drew this vision of a state-of-the-art children's village. 18 months ago, I had nothing but the drawing. In the miraculous 18 months we've had, we had a donation of land from the church of 20 acres, which was outside the capital city of Tanzania, Dodoma. We had a fundraiser from Mike Tyson, no less, who we did not know, he even knew who we were. And we then had a donation from a charitable cryptocurrency. But despite all of that, we still did not have enough funds to start construction of the new children's village. Here I'd like to announce the partnership we have with the Wong Foundation. You may have guessed the Wong Foundation provided us with what we needed to start construction. And as I speak now, the new children's village, which we are affectionately calling Feathers Tail 2, is currently under construction. Thanks to the love and support of the Wong Foundation, we had enough to start building the first house of the 20 acre village, which will provide a safe and loving home and therapy and all of the medical care needed for 35 special needs children living in crisis. Outside of that home, there will be single mother accommodation for the single mums who have their special needs children and have no support in the country as well. And they will find employment caring for the children who are abandoned or have no parents. The whole village will provide a complete solution to special needs children in the whole of Tanzania. It will have enough capacity for education, for therapy, for medical outreach, when it is complete, to be able to eradicate this problem in the most part in Tanzania. When I look at this journey and where we are, I must give great thanks to the Wong Foundation for that final push to help us get this going and take this step that we have taken. The Wong Foundation was established in loving memory of Sharon Wong, who had a passion for the well-being of children around the world. So her husband Dennis started the foundation to remember her. The Wong Foundation stated that Sharon is their guiding light. And so I would like to thank Sharon as that guiding light for guiding the foundation to share Tanzania to our children that live in our care to the children who will join our family thanks to what the foundation has helped us to start doing and also for getting behind the vision that we have for solving this problem the reality is that when we have this community done we can provide then a blueprint for the world to solve the problem of special needs children in developing countries living in crisis. And I am so excited and enthused to walk into the new year, starting the construction of that solution for Tanzania, and I believe in all my heart for the world as well. And so thank you to the Wong Foundation and everybody else I listed who have been involved in that journey. And Thank you to everyone else who makes all we do possible, supports our family, helps us to pay our food bills, etc. Thank you. We can't do this without you. And I am so honoured and blessed to be in the middle of this unconditional love of humanity that it is putting into these children that we love so dearly in Tanzania and those children we are yet to meet and will love so dearly. Thank you guys. Happy New Year and I'm excited to take you all on this journey in 2022. Bye.